All right. Um, let's see if um, I am be told that um, Toyin Bitoe is um, on to us live from Brazil. Uh, let's see. He's it's, it's been waiting for a while. Let's see if we can get through to him. And um, there's a lot we have to uh, ask him um, this evening. Let's see if um, we can be able to get Toyin to join us via Skype. Hello, Toyin. Yeah, you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I can hear you very well. Yes, um, I can hear you. Go ahead. Well, thank you so much for having me, Yemi. It's a pleasure joining you um, all the way from Sao Paulo. Uh, of course, uh, that's where um, I'm staying. And uh, just returned yesterday after watching Nigeria and Iran play out a goalless draw. Um, I I'm sure a lot of people were disappointed with the result. Everybody, of course, expected Nigeria to win that game uh, convincingly. It just didn't happen. We just hope that we'll see a better performance when we play our second game on Saturday against Bosnia Herzegovina. What's the mood in camp? Well, um, the players are disappointed. Um, everybody is disappointed. The Nigeria Football Federation, uh, the leadership of the NFF are also disappointed. Um, but the players have told us that, look, um, we know what is at stake in this competition. We let ourselves down. We didn't fight the way we were supposed to fight. But you will see a different team. You will see um, a better performance when we play against Bosnia and Govina. Um, looking at that game, Yemi, um, it was a very um, poor performance by the Nigerian team. We were not creative. We were not um, um, uh, wise with, with our use of the ball because we were playing against a team that came and put everybody behind the ball. We just didn't have that spark to break them down, take advantage and score goals that will have made it a lot easier for us at this World Cup. But now we have to do it the hard way, the only way, which is to beat Bosnia on, on Saturday. And of course, suspect that by the time we are playing Argentina, they have already qualified. And then we can fight for our lives, stay in the game, and get the result that we need to push us to the second round. The players uh, will be back in training tomorrow. They just returned uh, today uh, to right. Campinas. Uh, so training will start again tomorrow for the game on Saturday. Um, well, Godfrey Babona. You know, Liam died of that game in the first half. Uh, preliminary checks on him are not uh, very good as regards being available for the game on Saturday. But the doctors are working on him just to make sure that maybe we can get him fully fit before we play Bosnia in our next game on Saturday. As you said, everybody here, we're downcast. We are not happy with the way the team played. But if you look at the history of the Super Eagles under Stephen Keshi, they've always struggled with first games in major tournaments. Look at uh, the 2013 Nations Cup. Uh, in South Africa, the 1-1 one, one draw with Burkina Faso. Um, look at the Chan, the 2-1 loss to Mali. But the team was able to come back uh, from this disappointing start to put up impressive performances subsequently and do Nigeria proud. We hope the same will, will happen and continue for the Super Eagles at the World Cup. Okay, uh, as we look forward to the, um, to the next game, I don't know if you've been able to speak with um, Coach Stephen Keshi. Um, what's your approach going to be like? Uh, that's a question on everyone's lips. Um, what are the things we're likely to do differently? Well, from the body language of um, Stephen Keshi and all that happened um, yesterday, we are expecting a better, a more open game against Bosnia Herzegovina on Saturday. Um, remember, the uh, bottom of the group, Bosnia Herzegovina are bottom of our group. They want to stay in the competition. They want to win. They believe, they believe that on the strength of how well they played against Argentina, uh, in their opening game, they believe that they have enough um, to be able to beat the Super Eagles. So they will come out to try to score goals and beat Nigeria on Saturday. That is exactly what Nigeria needs. We need a team that will not sit back. We need a team that will open the game and also allow us to play our own game. So the players are looking at it from that angle. The coach, um, Stephen Keshi, also spoke about that, uh, that look, the next game is a crucial game. It's a game that we need to win to stay in the competition. The boys know what is at stake. The coaches know what is at stake. Everyone involved knows what is at stake. The Eagles will be able to play their game. We'll take the fight to Bosnia and the better side at the end of the day. Uh, we'll be smiling. And we are, we are hoping that on that day, the Eagles will raise their game. Uh, Mikel, who was the MVP of our first game, a lot of people do not agree with the choice. Victor Moses, uh, Emmanuel Lemenike, Ahmed Musa. We're hoping and praying that all of these guys, knowing what is at stake, will raise their game and, and get us the desired uh, Okay, so uh, before um, I allow you to go, apart from uh, Godfrey Obabuna, is there any other uh, injury worries um, or any player, um, nothing, you know, anything that uh, we need to know about? 
Yeah, um, Ruben Gabriel picked up the knock before our first game against Iran, but he's back training. Um, we will see tomorrow by the time the team returns back to uh, full training uh, ahead of Saturday's game against Bosnia and Herzegovina. We will see tomorrow if Ruben um, is also fully back. But then Ruben was part of the warm up um, for the game against Iran, so it looks like he has uh, um, shaken off the knock that he had. We are hoping that uh, apart from Wapabona, there won't be any other uh, problem. You see, most of these boys, even when they are fully fit, pick up some knocks in training. We are hoping that uh, this won't happen uh, and that uh, we will have a, a complement of, of uh, full squad to choose from when we play against Bosnia. For okay. now, Obabona is the only major worry that we have in the team. All Every right. other player uh, is fit, fully ready, healthy, uh, prepared to go all out to do battle. And we hope that we won't be joining, adding to that injury list before Saturday's game against uh, Bosnia. All right, thank you very much, Tony. Uh, we hope to uh, we hope, we hope to that you join us uh, another time to give us uh, more updates um, from uh, Brazil. Okay, um, that was um, Toy uh, Ibitoy all the way from Sao Paulo in Brazil, giving us updates from uh, the camp of the Super Eagles.